welcome to the testing world in this session we are going to understand advantage of rest services over SOP services so we are going to understand few advantages first advantage is rest services are light weighted means less data is going to be transferred between client and server machine and ultimately it need less bandwidth and it will be fast reason behind rest services are light weighted is that in case of the rest we can transfer the data between the client and the server by using different formats like we can use json format we can use txt format so many formats are supported here in the rest but in a case of soap we can transfer the data only by using xml which is a heavy weight because each data is transferred between two tags one is starting tag and one is end tag it going to send data as well as tag which will take more bandwidth and it ultimately it will be slower in execution in case of the soap services we can access complete application by using visual means if I want to buy any web service so I'll have to buy complete application because in case of the soap we cannot access each and every functionality but in case of the rest we can access each and every functionality we call it resource by using URI so advantage is that I have few customers who don't want to purchase who don't want to buy my complete application they want to buy only one or few functionalities so in case of the rest I can approach to these kind of customers I can sell my functionalities to these kind of customers by using URI I take an example of an application I'm taking example of the text calculation application so application or I'll say web service is supporting income tax sale tax service tax and many other taxes if that service is developed in the soap as a customer I have to buy the complete service because there is no option of purchasing only one or few functionalities but in case of the rest I can approach to the company and I can buy only one functionality by using URI so ultimately as a service provider or the company which has developed the services can approach more small customers so ultimately they are going to get more benefit out of it soap support only xml format for data exchange but rest support many other formats like html xml plain text json pdf html and many other formats so here we can transfer the data between the client machine and the server in many other formats in case of the rest services we can use all the main methods of HTTP protocols like get with the help of the get we can fetch the data from the server in case of post we can enter new data to the server in case of put we can update data to the server and in case of the delete we can delete the data from the server in soap services we are supporting only get soap services define standards like w3 standards need to be strictly followed while developing soap services which is going to take more time to develop test and use but in the case of the rest services it does not follow any standards so it will be much faster in development testing and use that's all we have for this session thanks for watching this video